Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? Um, on today's video, we are going to show you how to move a KML file to CAD. Um, on the channel, we have shown you how to move from CAD to KML, yes? Yeah, we have. Now, we are going to show you how to move from KML to CAD. Let's say you are working with Googlet, which is on your screen now, and then you have um, a polygon and you want to move the polygon to CAD without um, going to CAD to maybe draw out those lines again. Or maybe you have multiple lines that you've actually carved out from, from Google Earth and you want to move them to CAD so that um, you can finish your, let's say, your design there. So that's what we are going to show you. Now, for you to get this um, polygon is actually what we have done before. You come to what, add polygon, a new polygon rather, then you start picking the what, you start picking the polygon round. Um, we have um, videos on how we have done this, yes, where we moved from CAD to, um, from Google Earth to maybe some other software. So links to those videos will still be on the description section. However, that's how you can do it. You can add the polygon. So since we have done that, we have seen it as test here. So you just want, you right click on it and then you come to save place as. Then upon coming to save place as, it will take you to the folder you are working on. These are some other tests we have done on um, in order to get to this point. So let's say test 2222. Then you do what? You save. Good. It has been saved as what? Um, a KML file. Was it a KML file we saved it as? Good. It has been saved as a KML file. Then the next thing is what? You come to QGIS because that's the next software we are going to use. So on QGIS, you come to layer, then you go to what um, add add layer, then you come to what add vector layer. So when you are on the add vector layer, you browse. Then on this um, folder we are on, we should come to either um, KML, which is um, Q yeah, markup language. So we have um, test to do to yes. So we do what we open, then we add and we what and we close so this is actually what the would i say this is the the polygon we created from google Earth, right good so now the next thing now is for us to move it from this qgis to what to autocad so how do we go about it the next thing is what since it has been added as a layer you right click on the layer and then you come to um export which is what then you go to save feature as click on it so instead of us to move it to um, AutoCAD directly at first because there is this issue of um, line width so we just decided to just follow this path and again there are different methods of moving from um, would I say from KML to CAD you can do that online you can use um, some other like say softwares or intermediaries but we are using this perhaps subsequently on the video we are going to use other methods so the first thing is what we are going to save it as what um, a shape file so we come to what ESL ship file, then we browse to wherever location we want to save it, which is still on that folder we are working on. So let's still call this um, this. Let's call this DSS. Then the projection system we take it to the projected and um, coordinate system, which is um, this um, zone 32. Then the geometry type let's call it um, line string. Please pay attention to this aspect of the video because it actually does so much to your output. So the geometry type is in what is in line string. Then you say what? You say OK. You click on OK. Good. It has been created. Now the best thing for us to do is to what? Is to delete everything we have on our layer panel. Yeah. So let's say let's remove all of them. Remove layer. Good. And then let's now bring in that um, that vector layer again. So we come to layer, um, add layer, add vector layer. Then we do what? We come to that um, folder. We have just um, we have just um, created, which is an um, ESRO shape file. Where is that stuff? Good, 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 good. Please pay attention to all of them, which is this. Yes, and we open, we add. And we what and we close good so this is actually what 
the um, the the path sorry the polygon we created from what from google Earth. as you can see now the line width issue has been fixed if we had moved it directly to autocad we would have had that issue so it is now like a line so from here we can now move it toward to the autocad so you come to export you go toward save feature as then you now select dxf autocad dxf are we together so that's the essence of going this length so let's browse so let's call this um, final yes let's call this final yeah so we do what we save then um the geometry type let's still call it um, um line string yes good so the crs is still correct zone 32 i think these are please pay attention these are the most important things we need to select then we say what we say okay good it has been successfully what created now the next thing is for us to now navigate to wherever it is on um, on autocad and then get it sorry the folder we have saved it on and then access it on autocad all right so we are on autocad now okay so control o to what open so final yes and we do what we open it nothing on the screen yet yeah so zoom extend z enter e enter so we have what we have our polygon on autocad now you should pay attention to this part of the video this part of the video is actually what makes a lot of difference like to this extent let me add that because if we had not actually saved it as a, a shape file and also made the line string and we had moved it from um, as we have the KML to Google Earth, sorry, from KML to um, QGIS and then from QGIS, if we had moved it directly to AutoCAD, we might have this um, line with issue which will now take us to using a P edit and then um, that um, shortcut or maybe that command polyline edit. But when we have moved it to or as we have moved it as a v-ship file and then finally and also that line string that geometry type as line string and finally saved it as a dxf autocad dxf that's why we are able to arrive at this junction without having that um, line with issue so yeah thanks for coming to class and um, we hope we have provided solution to this um, particular solving problem so as you can see it is actually a polygon so you can do as many things as you want to do with a mini polygon geometry Thanks for coming to class with Open. We've provided solution to this particular solving problem. And um, if you're coming to the channel for the first time, please um, encourage us by subscribing to the channel. And if you've always been visiting us, thanks for always checking up on us. So um, you can always encourage us and um, check the channel description or maybe the description of this video for links on how to support us. So we'll see you on our next video. Until then, keep being good at what you're doing and have a nice time. Bye.